personality, the cult of great lawyers who did no wrong. I knew the paranoia of being perceived as bad in any way. In this situation, however, the firm was wrong, though I suspected the firm had no idea how very wrong it was. I imagined Braden Chance was cowering behind his locked door, praying fervently that the hour would pass. But I was wrong, too. Perhaps we could meet in the middle somewhere and cut a deal. If not, then Mordecai Green would have the pleasure of presenting the Burton case to a friendly jury one day soon and asking them for big bucks. And the firm would have the pleasure of pushing my grand larceny case to the limit, to a point I didn't care to think about. The Burton case would never go to trial. I could still think like a drinking sweetie lawyer. The idea of facing a D.C. jury would terrify them. The initial embarrassment would have them scrambling for ways to cut their losses. Tim Clawson, a college pal of Abraham's, was a reporter for the Post. 